Hi, Nicola Rascom here, back for another in the Ask the Data Governance Coach video series. And the question I want to look at today is, what does a data governance framework consist of? Now, if you're watching this video, there's a very high chance that you've Googled the term data governance framework, and you've probably got a whole myriad of answers come back, and some of them probably make it look really, really complicated. And I think, to be honest, a data governance framework is something that you can make as complicated as you want to. But from my experience, it's really, you know, got to be as simple as possible. Now, if you've watched any of my other videos or read my blogs, you know that I advocate simplicity when doing data governance. Now, that doesn't mean you can't go back and add more detail when necessary, but start simple and build on that as and when you need to. So, it's all very well for me saying start simple, but you're probably still sitting there thinking, but she hasn't started to answer the question and you're right. So for me, when I'm designing a data governance framework, I make sure that it has three key things in it. Now, the first one is a policy. And by this, I mean a data governance policy that mandates that your organization will treat and manage its data like an asset. And it will mandate the very high level what you're going to do in your organization to implement data governance. I then like to include some processes um, because I find that if you don't tell people how to do it, they tend to do their own thing. They don't do it consistently or they don't do it at all. So we need some documented processes for people to follow so they know and understand what it is you want them to do. And then finally, we need some roles and responsibilities because I'm sure you have been to the same meetings I have where everybody is in violent agreement that something needs to be done. We all agree on the actions. And then we come back to the follow-up meeting and everybody thought that somebody else was actually going to do that action. Well, data governance is just like that. I can't tell you how many times I've told people why I think that we ought to do data governance at that organization. And everybody agrees with me. Nobody ever says that's stupid, we shouldn't do it. They always kind of agree that it should be done. They might give me all sorts of reasons why it can't be done right now because they're busy, they don't have the resource, whatever. But they don't say that it's the wrong thing to do. But what is quite common is everybody thinks that somebody else is going to do it for them. Probably you if you're the data governance manager or on the data governance team. And that's not the case. Lots of people in your organization have a role to play if you're implementing a data governance framework. So your framework itself needs to detail those roles. Um, so you can actually be very clear what these rules are and who's going to do them. So I hope that helps and helps you design a nice, simple data governance framework. And don't forget, if you've got any other questions you'd like me to address in a future video, please just send them into questions at nicolarascom.com.